What's up guys, Level Up here, and today we'll be going on an expanded version of the opening cutscene tutorial. Last week I showed you a basic tutorial about how to open the cutscene with some scrolling text and getting the characters to have a bit of dialogue before then gaining control of the character to be able to move around. This week I'm going to expand on that and show you how you can add just a bit more depth and flavour to your opening cutscenes. So we're going to need a few things for this, I'll just exit out of that. Firstly, you're going to either need Photoshop or GIMP or uh, some photo editing equivalent. And then you're also going to need Audacity. So what we're going to do is when we have Photoshop open like this, we want to open some of the battle backends. So go over to your game files. Uh, where are they? So battle backs one and just open a dirt file. Go again, open another one, and open, not in Battlebacks 1, but in Battlebacks 2, just open the forest one. So we're going to select, I'll drag this one over, we're going to select all of the forest, we're going to paste that on top of the dirt, and then we'll just simply move this up. And then what we want to do is you need to create a, a new file, so go new, and you want to have it at... Uh, 816 right here 816 by 624 that's the standard resolution for um, RPG maker and then you merge these two layers copy this image here and then put it over in the new file which you just created there you go now we're going to want to do a few things to this so I want to duplicate this layer um, just once so I'll duplicate it as layer 1, and then we're going to add another layer afterwards. And here we just want a black sort of, um, just a black sort of background on the sides. Now, it'll help if I explain what we're going to do. So essentially we're going to have some scrolling text appear, up here. Um, so yeah, around this area we'll have some scrolling text appear, uh, and this image is just going to change one or two times. So click on uh, this image here. We're going to go to red, a dark sort of red, maybe or a bit more orange. And we're just going to change the opacity, maybe down to 16. Cover it in red. And then we just might add um, a few flames. Like, not flames, but you want to add sort of this, this sort of hellish looking feel, uh, just for this tutorial. So I'll take that opacity down, and we're just going to add in some very you know, dark, dra drabby, sort of fiery colours. There we go. So you've got these two different scenes. So what you want to do here is, on the upper layer, you want to grab some, um, grab the text tool. You want to find a font that you're pretty happy with uh, for your story. Purely for tutorial sake, I'm just going to be using Arial, and we'll just write a quick sort of uh, brief about um, so it's not, sorry, it's not going to be scrolling text we put here, it's just an image, because this is going to be read out, and that's why we have Audacity, so I'll quickly type through this. So there you go, we just have a quick bit of text. Um, you can obviously add in whatever exposition you want to add in, um, but that's that. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this top layer and we're going to save the image. So you want to save this, sorry, you want to export the image as a PNG. And you want to export it into your game file. Um, so I'll have to navigate to find my game file, just give me a moment. So once you're in your game file, you want to save it in images and you want to save it in pictures. So I'll just save that there. And then we're also going to turn off this layer, this off this fire layer. And we're going to export it again. And just untitled too. You can obviously have a better naming convention than what I've got here. Next comes the fun part. We're going to record our voices um, just for the opening exposition. So, <clears throat> as fast as the lads had turned into a wasteland of war and pain when the invading army of Argath had attacked, now the land was once again thriving. As fast as the lads had turned into a wasteland of war and pain when the invading army of Argath had attacked, all right, so then what we want to do is just generate up here in edit, generate just a bit of an echo. 
So select your track, generate echo, and we don't want much, we don't want it to be that. I'm going to go 0 0.1, and then delay factor 0 0.1, and we're just going to mess around with the echo. Uh, repeat echo, we're just going to repeat it however many times we need. Alright, so there you have the audio that you're going to use. So what you want to do is just export this audio, and we'll save it as an OGG. And again, we're just going to save that in our games folder. Alright, so once we're in the games folder, we're going to save it under audio. We're just going to save it as... Um, so we'll save it under ME, and we'll just save it as opening cut scene. Won't really do anything else to that. And then we can go into the game, and you'll look, if you look in your resource manager under pictures, we have the two images here. And in, uh, where is it? In ME, we have opening cutscene. So now what we want to do, everything from now on, is going to be in the opening cutscene. So at the very start, instead of scrolling text, what we want to do is create a new event and go show picture. So show picture is over on the second screen down at the very bottom left. We're going to show picture. We're going to show the first one. And that should be right. And then we're going to wait. And oh, hold on, what are we doing? Yeah, show picture, edit, wait. Uh, so we'll show the second picture. Hold on. Let me just cancel all of this. So we'll show the picture. We'll make a new event. Show another picture. Picture number two. There we go. And we'll get rid of the other picture. So we'll erase picture one. And then before all of that, we want to play the ME. So we're going to play um, opening cutscene. So that will play, and so we're going to need to put a wait in here, maybe 60 frames, that's one second. So wait, three seconds maybe, and then it's all just timing from here. So experiment with how many frames you wait and just see if it matches up to the animations. Let's just give that a quick test anyway. So, now hopefully, we need to, after, after all this waiting, we need to erase picture 2. So we'll erase picture 2 after the fade out. So over here, erase picture, number 2. And then the scene should continue on as normal, so we'll test that. And there we go, the scene continues as normal. What you do is you just put audio in here underneath the audio that you'd require you'd recorded earlier for the speaking. That's where you'd put your music audio for the opening cutscene. So anyway, back over here, we've got this, we've done the complete first part of the scene. Now it's time for the second part. So onto this one, after you've faded in, what we're gonna do is Instead of, are we there yet? Well, first of all, play some animations. So a balloon icon. So a balloon icon on the player is, we're going to do the, uh, where is that? There should be a, a sweat icon. And then we want to wait for the player to finish. So wait for completion, and that will wait till the bubble finishes and then speak. It's like, phew, I'm tired. How much longer? Now, this girl, we want her to be facing upwards. So, when while she's facing upwards, she can then, after he says, him, I'm tired, she can have her own balloon icon on this event, not player, and it can be anger. Wait for completion, then we'll set move root. Uh, we'll set a new move root after the... Anger bubble, set move root, this player, sorry, this event, turn down. What do you mean you are tired? 
hard. Then we're going to have the player have some more text. And then we're going to add another balloon icon. Uh, this time on the event, it's going to be exclamation, wait for completion. She'll say, tired, we've only been at it for an hour. And then you're going to add another move route. This move route is just going to be her jumping. It's just going to be a jump of zero, zero. And we'll do it twice. And then she'll have one more bit of text. Ooh. So I have one more bit of text. Then she'll move down into the player. And then we'll add another balloon icon for the sweat. And then a bit more text from the player. And we'll apply all of that and that should be our new opening cutscene done. One thing I will quickly do is go into the forest mapping settings and then I'll change the background music. So. There we go, all saved up, and now we have our new opening cutscene. His blast is the lad's return to do this land of glory and fame for the defeated army of Argan and the Tide. Now the land was once again thriving. And there you go, that just adds a bit more depth to the game other than the, more so than the previous uh, tutorial that we did. Um, obviously there's a bit, a few jumpy parts within there, within the picture animations and whatnot. Later on we'll be going through an even more in-depth tutorial about how to get the maximum amount of value out of your opening cutscenes. So this is how to get your cutscenes to look a bit better than normal. Uh, next time will be how to get your cutscenes to be a fair amount better than normal. So I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there are any tutorials you need me to make and I will make them. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I've got all the links below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.